Welcome back to your home garage and in this video I'm going to change the oil in this 2015 Volkswagen GTI with my son Eric. To start you want your car on ramps or safety jacks and then set your handbrake. Pop open the hood and slide a pair of wheel chocks behind those back tires. As you've seen in my other videos, I always recommend sliding a tarp under the vehicle to catch any debris or accidental spills. Now this GTI takes six quarts with a filter, so make sure you have a big enough catch can or you may have a huge mess under your vehicle. To make the oil flow quicker and smoother, loosen the oil fill cap and dipstick. The engine cover will be in the way for the oil filter, which is under my left hand. So just pull it straight up gently and the engine cover should come off fairly easy. Then with a one and one quarter inch socket, just crack the seal on the oil filter housing. On selected Volkswagens and Audis, your drain plug will be this plastic model, which you could get from the dealership. And I would also recommend ordering the special drain plug tool, or you could use a flat-headed screwdriver if you're in a pinch. Now I'll show you where the oil drain plug is under your vehicle, which is located on the back of the honeycomb oil pan. And even though these oil drain plugs are durable and made of corrosion resistant materials, I'm treating this one as a one-time use and will replace it. So with the drain plug tool, just slide it into the oil drain plug and turn it counterclockwise to loosen the oil drain plug. That really doesn't take much effort. It's plastic. <laughs> and there's no torque spec on it. You basically just open it until everything starts coming out, and then give her a nice little pull. Okay, that holds onto it pretty nicely too, actually. Actually, it does. While the oil is draining at the bottom, we can move to the oil filter and start to loosen that further to help drain the oil. I'll use a paper towel to catch any drips as I remove the oil filter. And as you can see, the oil is still draining from the filter reservoir. After you pull out the oil filter, wipe the inside of the housing clean to remove as much of the old oil as possible. Followed by using a flathead screwdriver to remove the old o-ring from outside the canister. and place the new one on that comes with your filter kit. And just put some fresh oil on that o-ring to help with the seal. Slide in the new oil filter and ensure you push it down all the way. With the housing clean, you won't drip any oil on the engine block as you flip it upside down. So when you thread it in, just make sure it goes in square and not to cross thread the housing or force it in. It should thread in nice and easy by hand to start. For torque specs, it's indicated on the top of the housing, 25 plus 5 newton meters, which is equivalent to 18.5 to 22 foot pounds. Yeah. 
With all the oil drained, we could go ahead and put in the new drain plug. New one is on the left and one that was installed with a screwdriver is on the right. And a screwdriver deforms the face ever so slightly, so using the proper drain plug is highly recommended. Put the new plug in place and just tighten it with the drain plug driver. There isn't any torque specs, just a secure fit indicated by a notch on the housing that locks it in. How'd that go in? I think it's in. Just try it again, just try tightening it. Oh, there we go, now it cracked. Uh, oh, <laughs> it even actually lines up. Yeah. And here's another look at the notch on the outside of the drain plug that needs to be firmly in place. Here's another look at that notch that gets pressed against the housing. Always get into the habit of inspecting and cleaning the oil fill cap. And because this car takes six quarts, it makes for an easy measurement when using a five plus one quart container. After putting in six quarts of oil, replace the oil fill cap and make sure everything feels tight before starting it up. With the car running, be careful not to touch anything. What you're looking for are leaks around the drain plug and filter housing before you back the car off the ramps. With the car on a flat surface, you could check the oil levels properly. The fresh oil is at the top of the hash marks, but we'll go ahead and check it one more time just to ensure it's perfect. Finally, snap the engine cover back in place. And there you have it, a quick tutorial on how to change your oil on your GTI. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend, and comment below. Plus, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on your home garage.